Hi, how are you? It's a Dr. Amuso. So today we want to talk about uh, O level uh, paper two. We want to uh, look on the structure uh, of uh, this uh, paper O level uh, paper two. How is this paper uh, structured? So we want to look on the questions that are usually asked on O level, ordinary level, Zimbabwe, uh, what are history when you're in Zimbabwe? Uh, when you are doing uh, this paper two, the topics that will be uh, in uh, this so-called uh, paper uh, two. So, on number one, we usually have a person that will be talking about the Egyptian uh, civilization. They will be asking you about what took place uh, in uh, Egypt uh, during that particular period of time, the civilization that occurred uh, in uh, Egypt. So, a question might come uh, on uh, that one. A question might also come on the evolution of a man. Remember, they are, there is a thought uh, that the first man was a conquest. He was an apple. He developed and eventually he became as Homo sapiens sapiens. So a question that come uh, as number one on the uh, evolution of what uh, of a man. Remember the syllabi that is now done. The syllabi that is there, it starts uh, from form one. So a person might come examining you on the stuff that you covered while you were in a uh, form one. So persons for number one usually is the Egyptian uh, civilization or the evolution of a man. They can ask you number two on the uh, slave trade, the activities of slave trade and slavery. What took place uh, during the particular period of time? How Africans were enslaved? What eventually led to the stopping or abandonment of slave trade and uh, slavery? As number two. Number three, they can ask you a question on the World War One. Remember, the war started in 1914, so they can ask you about the causes that led to World War One: the Alliance assisting militarism, a colonial rivalry, Sarajevo incident, issue of nationalism, the Balkan crisis, the first Bosnian crisis, the second our uh, the first Balkan wars, and the second Balkan wars. So they can ask you on the causes of the World War One. What led to the World War One? Then number four, they can ask you on the course of the World War One, how the war occurred, what happened when European powers were fighting against each other. So they, they can ask you a different wars that were fought during the World War One. Number five, they can ask you about what took place after the World War One. After the World War One, European powers they met uh, in 1919, resulting in the so-called the uh, Versailles Settlement. So they can ask you uh, on the Versailles Settlement, the coming in of the big three, Woodrow Wilson, George Clemenceau, Lord George, Lloyd George, what they did on the Versailles Settlement. Or they can ask you other treaties that was signed by the defeated powers. We talk about the Treaty of Saint Germain, the Treaty of Neoli, the Treaty of Severus, all those treaties that were signed by the uh, defeated what a force. They can ask you as number what number five. Then on number six, they can ask you a question on the League of Nations. The aims of the League of Nations, the structure of the League of Nations, the Assembly, the Council, the uh, International Labour Organization, the Secretariat. So a person might come asking you on the organs of the League. It can also ask you about uh, the successes and the failures of the League of Nations. They can ask you, number seven, on the rise of Mussolini, the rise of fascism in Italy. What happened in Italy after the World War One? So they can ask you uh, what happened in Italy, rise of Mussolini, domestic policies of Mussolini, foreign policies of uh, what uh, Mussolini. So a question that come about the rise of fascism in Italy. Then number eight, they can ask you on the rise of uh, Hitler. What took place in Germany after the World War One? We talk about the Weimar Republic uh, being uh, introduced. We talk about the rise of uh, Hitler, his domestic policies, and also his uh, foreign uh, policies. So we talk about the rise of Adolf Hitler. Then number nine, they can ask you on the causes of the World War II. The World War II, it erupted, it broke out on 1 September 1939. So they can ask you on what took place when the war broke out, the causes that led to the World War II. They can ask you number 10 on the course of the 
World War II. What took place uh, during the World War II? European countries, they were not fighting against each other. Now, but let me they can ask you on the uh, beginning, the starting of the Marshall Plan of 1949. They can also ask you about the NATO, the formation of uh, the uh, NATO. Number 12, they can ask you about the front line state. These are the states that assisted Zimbabwe during the liberation struggle. They assisted our soldiers. They assisted the country so that the country was going to be liberated. So the question might come of the roles that were played by the front line states. Then the question number 13, it can also come asking you about SADAC. South Africa development, asking you about the developments that took place, that were done, that are done are in a certain. So you are supposed to be in a position of knowing the developments that are taking place in this Sadaqwat region. They can also ask you about the formation of the OAU, the Organization of African Unity. We were celebrating the Africa Day. That is when the Africa Day was started on 25 May 1963. So we can ask you about the founding fathers of the whole AU, their work, their mandate, what they achieved, what they aimed to achieve uh, when they formed the organization of African World uh, Unity. They can also ask you about this organization called the United Nations, the UN, the aims of the UN, its operation, its successes, its failures. So they can ask you about this. So you are seeing that from number 12, to number 15, they are asking you about the organs, the SADAC organ, the OAU organ, and also the United Nations what are organ. So this one is about the organizations that were aimed at maintaining peace, that were aimed at making sure that things moved well in Africa. Then, at number 16, they can ask you about the Russian what, revolution, what took place during the time of the Russian revolution. So we are going to see that in this paper, we are going to have two questions on the Russian revolution, as number 16, another question on number 19, are on the Russian what, revolution. Then number 17, we'll be having a question on the Chinese revolution. Then on number 20, we'll be also having another question on the Chinese revolution. Then on number 18, they will ask you about the Cuban what a revolution, the causes that led to the Cuban what a revolution, the role that was played by these people now, e.g. Batista, Batista, what he did uh, during this time of the Cuban what a revolution. So this is the overview. This is how paper 2 all level uh, is uh, structured. Thank you so much. It's uh, Dr. Mosos.